Ape hooks in the back. Hmm, okay. Is this the... No, it's just music. I think I said this. That explains why it didn't wasn't uh, working for me. I guess we can just watch this happen. Anomaly found. Uh, atmospheric readings from Tuberk do not match simulated projections. But we've recovered artifacts from an ancient civilization on. Turbacula. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly six million years ago, based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens called themselves the Yacht, and appear to have been very large and flat anthropod analogues. They seem to ha it seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly a hundred meters as an adult, and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than for more than two or three yachts to travel aboard the same starship. It begins the precursors the yacht event chain. Situation log updated. It's a buzz. Um, the uh, Empire of Bogaz is buzz with news that the alien remnants studied by the ISS Grom, the Merciful. Uh, these reading, these leavings are considered the definitive proof of intelligent, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We still may be alone now, but we, uh, but at, we are at least not the first to be so. I have important information for you. Figures may as well, you know, give it a shot. Though I probably shouldn't have. The anomalies screen lists all as of yet on research anomalies that we have we've encountered. Ah, scientists have won anomaly level three. Soaring shadows, immense, ragged planes of shadow drift across Tuberk One's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the uh, upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged or rather jointed to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science Alfred Vandalor is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are for or fauna, or what possible purpose, if any, the average shadow casting, uh, shadow casting might serve. Nervous. Well done. The first survey of a star system beyond our own has been completed. We now have access to planetary data that the astronomers on our home world could only dream of a mere generation ago. We may want to consider building a second science ship. This would double the speed at which we can survey our galactic neighborhood. And shipyards, this is I guess. System Starbase. These upgradable stations mark star system ownership and are most often tasked with producing all types of ships. They can, be, uh, they can function in a variety of func uh, specialists into a variety of functions, through modules and buildings. They tend to be the last line of defense against enemy fleets in the system. 
We expand our borders by building star bases in nearby systems, and enemy star bases can be captured by attacking them. We, once we've captured and colonized more planets, we can manage our trade routes via the star base interface as well. Okay. Uh, Sand ship. Food ship. Galaxy map. Um, you. Ooh, you getting a fair bit of experience. Not done with you yet. Check out here. Construction complete. Uh, order sends the ship to aid the scientific effort of a planet, increasing the research output. Oh, all right. Begun exploring our neighboring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. A starbase can be built around stars in surveyed systems to expand our borders, allowing us to claim new regions of space. With future technologies, star spaces can be upgraded to produce ships or other resources. For now, their main benefit lies in extending our borders. When we've claimed a system with a starbase, we can build research and mining stations to exploit its resources or colonize any habitable worlds. Double the science ships means double the fun. Oh, I haven't been this excited since we completed the last assignment. We have a brand new science ship, but no scientist has been assigned to command it. My programming insists that I should point out the benefits of adding an organic scientist component to the mix. If we cannot afford to recruit a new scientist, we would always reassign one from another department, even though that is hardly ideal. S so sarcastic. I love the bot. Well, not, not sarcastic, but it's... It, it ends up co it coming off as sarcastic to me. It maybe I'm misreading it. I just end up. I've been this excited since we completed the last assignment. It cannot sound sincere to me. The leaders tab lets us hire, dismiss, and assign idle governors, scientists, admirals, and generals. Okay, so this is expertise in materials. Uh, the leaders from years of study considered an expert within the fields of materials. You are an expert in biology, and while well, you are maniacal, so your research speed is increased by 5%. This increases the research speed down across the board. But this is 15% research speed in materials and, well, uh, materials are biology, well this is flat 5. Uh, you're busy commanding, busy leading, busy leading, busy leading. Fruit. Uh, eager. Leader cost minus 50%. Leader upkeep minus 50%. Uh, well, you are a particles ex an expert in particles and you're an expert in materials. Um, how am I? Um, we'll go for you. Okay, you. Go here and survey. This is our construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. These ships are also used to build star bases and, uh, in unclaimed systems, making them critical in our expansion plans. Starbase. Good. The scientist has assumed command of our new science ship and can now be sent off at our leisure to explore new systems and or meet some grisly fate. <laughs> Love it. Love it. The technology screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. 
A lot of critical research can only be done in a zero-gravity environment, which these specialist laboratories are eminently designed for. Administrative AI, organizational circuitry rerouted academic, rerouting academic favor, fervor. Uh, plus 5% research speed. Uh, well, yeah, it's like here, obviously. Uh, so 10% re uh, research, uh, research, research station output plus 10%. This increases research speed by 5%. Well, physics research from researchers um, is plus 20%. Let's go with this, because it's just a cross-the-board upgrade. Uh, monthly unity plus two additional edicts uh, campaigns. This technology will lead to further advancements in capital buildings and influence gain. Upgraded planetary capitals are required for high-level buildings. It's a statecraft thing. Uh, hydroponics farming. It uh, unlocks a new building and starbase building. Uh, and this research from these. I think this would actually be a good idea. Carrier operations. Uh, basic strike craft and hangar bay. Materials for miners. I know this sounds cool. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, uh, this sounds cool. Let's go with this. It's not the best way of doing things, but. The tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. Our control over colonies is dependent upon us finding capable and loyal individuals that can be trusted to enforce the will of the government. Uh, imperious architectural government buildings in a great empire should be monuments to the state, moving over to populace to inspire obedience and loyalty, uh, obedience, loyalty, and all. Privy Council. Breasts and brightest compete for a chance to whisper advice into the auditory receiver of an illustrious leader to better guide the ship of state. Public trust officers. Uh, the important work done by law enforcement officers can only truly be successful to cooperation with the public. Creating a core, core of public trust officers that work directly with the population will help ensure that this cooperation is freely given. Workplace motivators. There are many ways to uh, motivate those who, who perform menial waiver to work harder. Some are based on incentives, some not. Uh, supremacy sounds... sounds right. Supremacy and expansion. Uh, we'll start off with expansion. We, uh, adoption effect. Colony development speed is increased by 25%. Venture effect. Adopting all will allow you, uh, all traditions will allow your non habitat habitat planets to build one additional district. In addition, we will unlock one ascension park slot. During its survey, of Algo 4, the ISS Borak, the affable, discovered uh, several exotic gases previously unknown to us. These gases have a variety of different uses, particularly in the operation of advanced energy-based weaponry and force fields. Some of the gases can also be used as starship fuel or even recreational drugs. Uh, while we do not just possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control of the system for future exploitation. Anomaly found. Uh, uh, scanning the star reveals a small object in rapid orbit. Its small size and high velocity makes it difficult for a sensor to isolate. Far Indoor. out. That is where the frontiers of our domain now lie. Construction yes. complete. Uh, 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 we have uh, the ability to manually design new ships in the ship designer screen. This is a fairly straightforward process. Though one that can be fully automated, if we so wish. Okay, well, I'll design one in a sec. So, we design a star base. This guy's getting the level. So, it's still three levels higher than us. Sure, do it. I feel weird leaving it. Is that it? Okay.
We can build observation posts around planets inhabited by primitive societies to study to study uh, primitive civilizations, to study society. Uh, build research stations and build mining stations. Society research. Okay, so we just build research stations here, I guess. Need to build a few. Um Start off with you, I guess. Um, actually... All the best. Design was all mine to generate from latest technology. Okay. Actually, just have an extra one, it's fine. Uh, provides accommodation and support for ship spaceship crews, reducing the logistical burdens on fleets that are berthed there. This is stock ship upkeep. It has a shipyard and a trade hub. Ship design. Ships in use within our empire are designed here. New hull sizes and components will be unlocked as we research new technologies. I'm terrible at doing this. I tried it in one game and I was horrendous. Uh, ooh, sorry about the Corvette, I guess. Uh, missile boat, interceptor, or picket ship. Missile boat. Uh, mass driver. Shield damage for reduced armor damage. Well, this is. Ah, if you slot it in different things, it's obviously different. Um, like it. Uh, how should I explain what I was trying to say? That made more sense in my head. Basically, like, the red laser you start off with, say if you have, you know, a, you know, it comes in three different flavors. You know, you don't have to unlock the large red laser. You have small, medium, and large by default. Um... So bonus armor damage will reduce shield, disadvantage shield for reduced armor. Oh well. Nuclear missiles. Awesome. Bonus shield penetration and haul damage. I guess given that, I should change this to the Red Laser. Just simply because this well yeah, this is bonus shield damage. So cover bases. Reactor booster. Sure, why not? Nano composite armor. Extra 50 hit points or deflectors. Uh, well, extra 50 armor hit points. Uh, well, this is daily shield, shield regen by 0.5 and increases shield hit points by 50. I think I'm gonna go with. 
a predominantly armor ship, but with some shielding. Ships equipped with hyperdrives travel safely between the edges of star sh systems along hyperstellar, uh, along interstellar hyperlands. Travel swiftly between the edges of star systems along the... Yeah. I thought I was read it wrong. Simple yet uh, moderately effective c chemical thrusters that rely on combustive propellant to generate trust. Uh, radar system. Upon a balanced technology adapted for use in deep space, the radar system provides basic detection and tracking capabilities for interstellar ships. Basic combat computer, swarm tactics. The ship will try will charge straight at enemies and try to deal as much damage from as possible from point blank range. That's all we have. Radar system, thrusters, hyperdrive, and yeah. So can't change that in there. Um, can't set, set it auto. Uh, cannot make changes. Uh, auto design takes control over upgrading and changing of the ships. Okay. Toggle automatic uh, generation of ship designs when researching new technologies. Yep, you saw nothing. Really? It's that that's obnoxious. I like to have a few like general auto generated stuff, but toss in my own shit, you know? Curious, what is this? Hey, why did you get an extra Oh, it's a different type. Yeah, yeah. Flak battery, two small mass drivers. Cool. Yeah, it didn't need the other thing. That is frustrating. Well, I guess I'll be using that a lot. Job. The ship design has been added to our database and can now be produced by a starbase that has been equipped with a shipyard. A bit more expensive than the other one, but hopefully, you know, for a while. As our empire grows, trade between our planets will become an increasingly large part of our economy. Starbases with trade hubs collect trade value within their system to be routed to the capital for conversion to energy credits. Building trade hubs means the starbase can collect trade value from adjacent, uh, adjacent systems as well, where trade routes may attract pirates, though they can be countered by fleets on patrol and by defense modules on starbases. Hangar modules are particularly effective for this. I reckon another upgraded starbase to set a trade route to that location. Some uh, trade routes need trade routes need to have some link to your capital, trade capital. Which 
Oh. Oh, okay, I'm actually going from the trade for capital. Whoops. I don't think... Do you even have this thing? No. Can't upgrade you either. Spent a bit much. Anomaly found. Ooh. Construction complete. Leave it for now. Actually, what? What did that say? There's signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization on this habitable world. Yeah, leave it for now. They're still doing that. <laughs> ISS, ISS Doralan the Tyrant. Fantastic. One of our science ships has just surveyed a world that would make an excellent candidate for our first colony. It is of the same planet class as our home world. So our colonists should be quite comfortable there. Before we can colonize this world, however, our borders must be extended to cover the system it is in. It's accomplished by using a... Is actually being mined. There's this isn't. Can I cue this? Yes. up with the one that was there rather than this one over here, but we we'll say a V. I suppose I could reset it, but whatever. liberal with this here. I've never really gotten into uh, grand strategies, so I'm probably... I'm, I'm, I'm very much a rookie at them. Adopt a new tradition. Uh, they st colonization fervor seems to have ripped the populace. Their enthusiasm and patriotic fervor draws additional population to the new colonies. Reach for the star. Star base influence costs reduced by 10%. Well, this is an extra person uh, pop to it. The frontiers of our new, uh, the frontiers of our star nation are being pushed ever forwards. So nothing in this galaxy will lie beyond our grasp. Go with this. Um, need more jobs. This is our homeworld and the capital of our empire. 
The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. Hmm. But yeah, I've never. I played a bit of Crusader Kings too, but I never really got into round strategies. Um, I might end up. Ooh, righteous. Crime minus one five. They're incorruptible and harbor strong convictions regarding what is right and wrong. But yeah, I'm. Um, gonna, I was. Uh, I've been invited. We're gonna uh, to play this with some guildies. Um, so I wanted to get a little bit of a taste in, you know. We can see the total number of districts this planet can support, how many pops are living on it, how much food and other resources it produces and consumes. We can see if the planet is suffering from low stability, and if it's a signed go governor, they can be found here. There's one pop unemployed. Double job zero. Crime from pops 25. But from the job, righteousness, and skill, it's under zero percent. 